Welcome back, YouTube. So we're back on this clog catalytic converter suspicion. <clears throat> and based on my experience, right? Because this is the law. I'm the law when it comes to doing exhaust. I'm the law. Johnny Law. Tony Law. So. Do you see all the plugging inside of there? So that would be carbon from the GDI, okay, along with oil. So there's her issues. And uh, that's a ton of carbon. A ton of carbon. Um, so I can't really see the rest of this because um, she didn't approve this job yet. So at this point, I just, I'm diagnosing what's wrong with her car. So this catalytic converter is plugged and catalytic converters don't plug or fail on their own. That does not happen. Long idle times, overextended oil changes, no fuel injection services, no throttle body services, no positive crankcase uh, ventilation maintenance or services, cheap gasoline, all this stuff is how you can avoid this, okay? I don't believe that manufacturers are building bad engines. I'm gonna tell you it's not recommending the right and proper maintenance intervals and service intervals uh, and advising them to use good gasoline even though that your car can run on regular, right? So the rule is it can run on regular, but it's the poorest quality fuel out there that you can buy. Use a better quality fuel that has uh, detergents and additives and things like that that help keep the internal health of your engine better because if you don't, right, this is exactly what's gonna happen. All right, so the car's brand new, zero mileage. The converter doesn't look like this. 30,000 miles worth of driving of just doing oil changes and maybe at that, okay? And with advised, being advised to do 10,000 mile oil changes, which is completely ridiculous. And then no one insisting or educating these people. I mean, and maybe it should be a warning that's in the information center that says, hey, your car is due for a GDI service, required maintenance. Your car is due for an oil change at 5,000 miles and then give them an indicator like green, orange, red, you're in the danger zone. So I think that manufacturers should do a better job of educating the consumers on how to properly maintain the vehicle that they built and engineered for that consumer, okay, for that buyer. Um, and like Toyota and Lexus, you get multiple warning lights when there's a problem. So if you ignore all that stuff, that's a sign like bing, 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 you're having instant failures go on. Your engine light's flashing, your engine light's on, something's wrong. So here's the proof in the pudding. This is the effect, and there's multiple causes on why this happened. Thanks for watching. Hey. Hey, question for you. <laughs>